is five. And it's Davis's third home run tonight. They're going wild at the Coliseum. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4. to four. Yasiel Puig pinch hitting. And he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. The 2-0. -oh. Each row to right and deep. Back goes Park. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. Tonight it's game three of this four-game set between the Milwaukee Brewers and the New York Mets. Stay tuned for Mets baseball coming up next. Steven Matz gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Standing in, Hernan Perez. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Grounded back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So the Brewers get their leadoff man aboard to start out the frame. Hey, you go to the plate in the first inning, you hit a ball back up the middle, a little ground ball gets Batting through up the middle. Good approach. I like the fact he's thinking it. up the Keon. middle early in the game. Digging in now, Keon Broxton. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. A runner at first with no outs here. Smoke toward the hole and that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. First two batters of the third. game back to back the hits. Fielder, Not a good eight. start for the pitcher but Ryan the offense Braun. they're running to the batter's box right now. Here's Ryan Braun now. He comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. Working for the punch out and the offering. Shoots this one over to first. And he dives like he shot out of a cannon, but it works just as well as a foot does. And there's your first out. And a look now at the batting order for the visiting Milwaukee Brewers. What's this club need to focus on this evening, H? Well, Matt, this line has been scuffing from top to bottom. You don't see it very often, but they need a spark. One guy to step up, get hot, and maybe the rest can catch up. But right now, they're really struggling. Now in the box, Domingo Santana. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Squared that one up just a little late. Set to deal on a ball and two strike. Uh, you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see, and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. Coming to the plate now, Travis Shaw. He's been one of their big run producers this year, currently third on the team in RBIs. Second and third, two away. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four of five prior to that. A swing and a high drive to right center field. 
And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So a good job of pitching there as they wind up stranding two men in scoring position in the opening half inning. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Zach Davies, a Washington-born right-hander, gets the starting assignment. HR, what's the word on him? What I like about him is his maturity. You can tell that from a pitcher, how they pitch on the road. He has pitched really well on the road and been able to focus, and I think he'll carry that same trend into this game as well. It is Curtis Granderson, and you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. If he can keep hitting the corner with that two seam fastball, it's going to be really effective. But if he leaves it out over the middle of the plate, it could be a dangerous spot. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Yoana Cespedes, can keep it going. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. One out, nobody on. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Well, that change up right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that change up. Ready with another two two. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. And Harold, as we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight, they've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Matt, they won the game last night, and I talked to the manager earlier, and he just said, you know, we executed, and if we can do that, we'll be a consistent team, and we'll win games. Here it is on three and one. A changeup that just nips the outside of the zone. Two out, nobody on. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And another foul ball. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Santana is underneath this one, and he will put it away to retire the side. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. In now, Jesus Aguilar. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. That's a high strike on a curveball right there. If he continues to throw that pitch, we won't be mentioning his name very much longer in this game. He's going to have to get that ball down to be effective. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first down. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at the catcher Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. 
Into the box now, Andrew Susak. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. Ready to deliver the one and two. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side. And no one will get this one. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that textbook sinker. Standing in now, Orlando Arcia. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Boy, he juked him out of his shoes with that changeup. Stood almost no chance of doing anything with it, but it probably looked good coming in. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Cespedes on the move, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it nice. hugged the line and found That's its right. way into the corner. Jack thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. In now, Zach Davies. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Ready on one and two. Hit on the ground toward the left. Wright has it. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Through an inning and a half, no score on the show. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He begins this one with the fourth best batting average in the National League. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Cespedes is retired and there's one away. All right, here's how the Brewers line up defensively brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at Travis Shaw. They got him playing third, but he can play the outfield as well. But the bat really got him to the big leagues. But I was so impressed when I saw him charge a bunt and make a throw on the run for the defensive side. Offense and defense. Really impressive young man. Here's Neil Walker. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. Here's the pitch on two and two. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The payoff pitch one more time. And he looks at one that misses. And that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Hey, that was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Here's the one and two. And there he goes toward second. Sharp ground ball to third. Throw gets him, two down. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. Set. Here's the three and two. And oh, he can't knock this one down as it zips right by him in the left. And a relay to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Two out, two strikes, down to the last strike of the inning. And he's able to hang in there and drive the ball for a base hit. Good job of battling with him.
Into the box now, T.J. Rivera. Outside, two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Two, one. Here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Payoff pitch one more time. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We played two full. It's the Mets one and the Brewers nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Hernan Perez. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hit hard on the ground to first. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Now batting. Center fielder. Digging in to Keon try it again. Broxton. Keon Broxton. A base hit in his first trip. One and one. Here it comes. For Walker now at second. On to first and there were two down. The left fielder number eight. Brian Braun. Striding in once again. Brian Braun. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the one and one delivery. Hit back up the middle. And that'll be a base hit for Braun. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak and the he gets right a base hit there. 16. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it hard. Domingo, this is one of those Santana. that you need to get in the hit column. This is a good jump start for him. Stepping in now, Domingo Santana. Hard hit ball to second. Walker's got it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Mets one, and the Brewers nothing. Stepping up now, Steven Matz, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Love that pitch right there, and he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner. A lot of hitters have a tendency to open up way too early, and they can't make good contact on that pitch. Wow, great hustle from the pitcher right there to beat up that infield single. I'm just curious, will wear him out now when he gets back on the mound next half in? Into the box, Curtis Granderson. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Whoa, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two-strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. A pause and the 0-2. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. And with our season just about one third of the way through, here's a look at the upcoming schedule into the first week of June. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Inside corner called a strike one and two. Runner at first here, one man out. He's going, he's going. Runner's going. And this one's in the dirt. Oh, and this is low, and it won't be dug out, so he picked the right pitch to run on there, and he's in at second base with a stolen bag. 
Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. High fly ball after straightaway center. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. Digging in for his second at bat, David Wright. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Ready with the payoff pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Santana racing back to the track, to the wall. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. A two-run homer for David Wright. Home run number two for him on the year. And the Mets have taken a three-to-nothing lead. Man, he threw a two-seamer hoping to get some movement, but that thing did nothing to fool him, and he squared it up perfectly. Pretty swing of the bat there. In now, Joanna Cespedes. And a full count now, three and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Santana ranging back. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. A solo home run here off the bat of Ioannis Cespedes, giving him an even 150. And the Mets have jumped out to a 4 0 lead. Another long ball in the early going of this one. The second one he's allowed in just two and two thirds innings. Might want to warm up those showers. He might be heading that way real soon if he can't keep the ball in the yard. Into the box now, Neil Walker. Hey. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Oh, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Hit out towards second. Perez fields it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Three innings complete. It's the Mets four and the Brewers nothing. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Seared down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The next 3 2. And the sinking fastball. Cold strike three, and that's out number one. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Hits are now even at four apiece. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Digging in. Andrew Susak. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Line drive to left. In there. A base hit. 
That's an impressive swing on a tough pitch, a sinker from a right-handed pitcher the going hand to the right-handed batter, and he's able to get the bat head out Orlando and hit it in the left Garcia. field. That was really cool. Standing in now, Orlando Garcia. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. He's set. Here's the three and two. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Up next for Milwaukee. Ready for another chance. Zach Davies. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Again, he sends it out of play. Another one-two delivery. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in the one-two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. He's set. Here's the two-two. Bouncer down the line. And he'll smartly just ensure that this stays a foul ball. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Brewers strand a couple. They trail here four to nothing. Here's Jay Bruce now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The one and two pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings. So it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Jay Bruce becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth oh, no. inning. Into the box, Travis Darno. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one two. Lays off two and two now. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds at two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. Line, but speared on a hop. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Now batting, first baseman, TJ. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Two and two count. Here it comes. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They lead it four to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Hernan Perez, one for two on his line so far in the game. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this will wind up foul, still 0-2. Bruce will come over for a look, but this will wind up back in the crowd a foul ball. Ready with another 0 2. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Pitch on the way. 
And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. This is line to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth. What an at bat. Eight pitches, now and on the eighth pitch, he gets a fastball and gets a base hit. That's what you call seeing everything the pitcher has to offer. Stepping in now, Keon Broxton. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. No walk so far. Here's the three two. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Another payoff pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Bruce has a read on it. One away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The left fielder number eight. Here's Ryan, Ryan Braun, Braun now. He's one for two in the ball game. No runs, seven hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Hit hard to the right side, and that gets through for a one-out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that's another now single, batting. another hit. Now right they fielder. are first and second. Domingo they just haven't come up with Santana. that big hit to drive a lot of runs in. They've got to break things open pretty soon. In now, Domingo Santana. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Offers it that one a little late, and it's two and two now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Strike three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Standing in now, Travis Shaw. And good take that time on a low breaking ball. Two and two now. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five shutout innings. Talk about dominant work so far. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Brewers strand a couple. They're down 4 nothing. Chase Anderson is going to take over now here in inning number Milwaukee. five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Chase Anderson. At the plate, Steven Matz. Action in that Milwaukee bullpen now as a left-hander started to throw out there. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Center got builder. it defend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Into the box, Curtis Granderson. Called strike two as he locks him up there. Four runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And a changeup right down the middle.
trying to strike out the side. Here it is. This is on the ground over to first. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. So the base hit here nets him a base runner with two away as we check out the league leaders in team batting average here in May. And you can see that these guys currently find themselves fourth in the NL in that category. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. His lifetime batting line against Chase Anderson. Hitless in three at-bats. Here it comes on one and one. Yeah. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. There goes Cabrera. Pitch outside the throw, and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Well, some may say that's a questionable steal with such a big lead, but to me, it's still too early to worry about disrespecting the other team. I've seen leads like this disappear, so they're going to keep trying to pile on. And this one gets away. He's set. Here's the three and two. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Met strand one. But they're in front four to nothing. Digging in and looking for more. Jesus Aguilar. A hit in two tries so far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground to third. Gloved by right. Throw to first gets him. So the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another Andrew shot. Andrew Susak. Susak. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Fastball in there, three and two. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, and if you can make it all the way to the sixth inning before you give up a walk, you're doing something right. He's been very efficient so far, so we'll see if he can get back on track here. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Runners on first with one down. On the ground to second base. This could be two to Cabrera for one on the first, and it's dropped. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. I'm not sure if this happened or not, but sometimes when you're playing behind a pitcher who's doing all of the work himself, you get caught up a little bit in kind of a trance and you get lulled to sleep out there. Looked like to me he was caught a little off guard when the play came his way. A runner on first with two away. Nope. Sticking with the soft stuff here as this misses, it's two and one. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Swing and a line drive, but there to take it is Cabrera, and with that, the side is retired. Brewer strand one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Tommy Malone enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 33, Tommy Malone. Here's Juana Cespedes. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Two and one now to Cespedes. There's a change up over the outside corner. 
Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right-hander loosen up. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now he sends a routine fly ball out to straightaway center. Broxton is there now, and he has it two gone. The right fielder, number 19. Shane. Digging in to try it again. Jay Bruce, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Two out, nobody on. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Broxton's under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three, but they hold a four to nothing lead. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary You're through the first list. six innings of baseball. Hansel Robles Mets. is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance Robles. of the season. Riding in once again, Hernan Perez. He's two for three thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down and enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Hernan Perez is retired to kick off the inning. Ready for another shot now. Keon Broxton. He flew out in his last at bat. And it misses three and one now. On deck, the always dangerous Ryan Braun. Called a strike and it's full three and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Here's the one and one delivery. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Played on the backhand. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Gone in order of the Brewers. They trail here four to nothing. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. He's one for two in the ball game. Here's the one and one pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Here it comes. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Again, a one two. And the changeup is way low that time. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Full count now, three and two. TJ Rivera waits on deck. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera and he's likely just trying to put one in play here 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Here comes the payoff pitch runners on the move for second hit back toward the mound and a good throw gets him one gone. The pitcher number 47. 
Jose Reyes will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. One out and a runner on second base. Fastball called strike one and two. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Drilled to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Center fielder, it is Curtis Granderson. Three, three at bats for him in this one. All ending with him going down on strikes. Here's the one and one pitch. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. Two outs here with a runner at third. All right, let's go. And he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Mets leave one. They lead it four to nothing. Your Fernando Salas been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 59, Fernando Salas. Digging in once again, Domingo Santana, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner full count here it comes and the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate so we'll do it again still three and two once again a three two takes this the other way to right Bruce is there to put it away for out number one good contact to start out the inning I thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit but it hung up there too long just unlucky that time. That's lifted the other way out to left. After it is Cespedes. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. The first Ready pitch. once again. Jesus, Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. Hey. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. And this is fouled at the plate. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They're down four nothing. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, previously against Tommy Malone, three for 15. And he yeah. looks at a ball one and two on 0 and two you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up but when it's way down like that it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. He'll try again one two and that misses two and two. Wow that was a decent breaking ball right there but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of. When you're opposite handed opposite back you can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Now here's the pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. The third baseman number five. David Ready for another Wright. chance. David Wright. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Here's the 1 1. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Well, that fooled him right there. Clearly, he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. He's running towards second. Pitch misses the throw down. And in fact, there will be no throw as he loses the handle there on the transfer.
hit out towards second. Perez is up with it and a rather easy first down. The left fielder number 50. Coming to the plate now, Joannis Cespedes. He's working on a one for three thus far. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Now batting. Digging in the switch hitter, Neil Walker. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Runners are at the corners with one man out. He pops up the changeup, heading out towards shallow right. Perez takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Here's Jay Bruce now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Runners on first and third, two away. Look out, and that'll give him a close shave. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Slice down the left side, but foul. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. On to first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Now, beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. So coming to the plate, Andrew Susak. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out and over the course of the season it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Rivera in foul ground one down. The batter, number three. A reminder that coming up immediately after the broadcast we'll have full highlights from our ball game here at City Field. Stepping into the box, Orlando Arcia. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swinging a liner back through the box. And that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. They've left a lot of men on base that have plenty of opportunities. And here's another one after a base hit. They find themselves with Tommy another runner Romano. on. Let's see if they can bring somebody home this inning. Your Eric Sogard. We'll grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 18, Eric Sogo. Runner at first here, one man out. Popped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. And the catch out there made by Wright for out number two. Stepping in, Hernan Perez. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And that's swung on and missed, so the Brewers are down to their final strike now. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Arcia rounds third and is digging for the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock now is ticking. Batting. But that RBI Center double fielder. might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Stepping in now, Keon Broxton. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Two out, two strike offering. Here it is. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. 
Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. Walker, ranging into the outfield, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Good job there to slam the door for the win, and they finish the month with the bang just the way you want to. A 4-1 to finish in this evening's game. Steven Matz earns win number seven on the season. Zach Davies was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Four runs on five hits with one error. Cologne looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one deep left field. Back goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in.